Hey everybody, this is Darkside, and welcome to our next part of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. We're continuing on in the hospital here, and see where things take us from here. So let's get started, shall we? Hmm, computers for Grandma. That's exactly what we need. And, oh, that's, wait a minute, that's Scar Stereo. I need, I need the computers read. Yay, stat increase. We are now better with computers, even though we weren't actually all that bad before. All right. We have three emails. Three are unread. Lakers. Hmm. Yo mama. Well, we're not doing yo mama. Hey, Danny, I could use a little help on you. F dog, huh? Not for personal use, you bastard. Dr. Alright there, F dog. Dr. Diego. Flat bottom SP. Yes. That is my man. It's also the next name I'm gonna use for a character. Ah, uh, Phil. Phil Flatbottomus. You have some nice qualifications there, Phil. Well, do something about it, he's got... Okay, yeah, Bill, comment E. Internal Wrangler since 1999. <laughs> Alright, I'm at St. Martin on the, on the end. Malcolm St. Martin is our night shift. I wonder if that's that dude. Roberts D. I don't know if can succeed like that. But Roberts. Okay. Termination. Hmm. He must have done something naughty. Yeah, that's all nice. Alright, let's, uh... So I wonder if these morphine pills are the ones I'm actually supposed to be getting for... Room 2, what is this? Oh, hey. I like clickable things, medication. I don't know if that actually helps or not. Okay, doesn't there appear to be anybody else here. Guess we'll go back and turn some of this stuff in. Now that we have Mercurio's uh, pills. Well, at least I'm guessing morphine was it. I guess it could have been that pill bottle I picked up back in my room. We'll try it. I'm sure that one of these will work. Our top story tonight, a public ship found floating 10 miles from Los Angeles coast earlier this morning was towed into the port of Los Angeles a few hours ago. You alive? Uh, oh, good morphine. Oh, oh, holy Christ, I needed that. All right, finally, we can get down to business. Yeah. Did you waste those sons of bitches? Of course. Great. Hope it was I would have done it for the fun of it. Money? Back. money? No one said anything about any money. I got some humanity. He's going to take it from me, isn't it? Ah. Damn. I could have used that money to buy myself some new kidneys. Oh, that's just too bad. Uh, they must have spent it already. That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabat interest. Sabat interest, okay. So, who do I find this place? I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tung's hiding out at the moment. Oh, man. Of course he's hiding out. I don't know him. But about this Tung, Tung's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, can't say they were familiar. Tung are feuding. I don't know the details. 
Mike takes that tongue the thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. Do you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon? You're gonna have to get Therese to call off the fuel. That's great. All right, we're gonna find her. She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking blood for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Sounds wonderful. Why I gotta turn off that thing in they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. In the last year. A freaky, huh? Gelatinous creature that Therese, the Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. her Jeanette's different. Found by I don't know what to make of her. Morning, She's a little, he you know, in the head. Away, the I don't know. Therese is, well, octopus, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. The monster, but I hear rumors about her. They have never seen anything like what kind of rumors? Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. Call me old-fashioned, but I'm getting ready to kick you. Tell me. Were carried out during a drug All right, Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says, you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. But anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Yeah, we can and do, just different for us, that's all. Who exactly? Who's this Bertrand I don't know dude? myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. All right. Who exactly? Well, what about you? What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. In other news, I'd say it's my calling. Third victim of this the astrolite wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back the east, some shit went down. Tonight. Big Apple can't go back. I hate it, but what are you going to do? In Glendale and Long Beach. In both cases, the Specifically? The were described as torn apart. Who exactly? Uh, at this time. Yeah, I think we learned all this. We're going to learn from that guy. Them. A I'll tell you what, where the hell is that radio? That thing is driving me nuts. Morning, oh yeah, it was the TV. It. I'd much rather listen to the music on the way in. That actually sounds pretty good, but this other one, blah, we don't want to hear any of that crap. All right, so we got to go find this Therese. They said that she was over at the asylum. Uh, this is the wrong way. Nothing getting down there. Okay, so we go find this Therese chick, and we get her to, I don't know, what was the reason why I needed to talk to her again? I know I need to talk to this tongue guy. Hey, how's it going? Remember me? Because I certainly remember you. I remember exactly how you taste. I wonder if it's honorable to actually, like, drain a guy while he's trying to take a leak. I don't know. What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? I don't even understand anything you just said. I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. I'm the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. That's wonderful. I'm glad that we're getting to know each other. I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. <sighs> I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. Yep. I think that uh, soon probably can't come close soon enough. Oh, definitely got that body built for bedrooms kind of thing, as he was saying. Uh, 
Dude, look at that guy. Uh, it's not what I can get you, or you can... Look at your skin, man. Looks like it's about to fall off of you, brother. Alright, anyway, I don't drink alcohol. Grace, she's upstairs. She said she has business to attend to, but I can hear her and Jeanette bickering from here. Why do you need to see her? Yeah, yeah, I hear that from everyone, sweetheart. She expect to hear something. Ay, ay, ay. Dorman. I don't know what to say. Alright, look, I'll cut your break because we're busy here. I'll bust her, he's telling her you're coming. Take the elevator over there up. If I hear that you're not supposed to be there, you and me are gonna have a heart to heart. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure you could handle me. Hey. Alright, well, uh, it's the elevator up. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's floor number one. Now, nope. got a floor number two. There we are, too. Wow, the music in this place is like super loud. It is a club, after all, I guess. But, wow, I feel like I'm starting to scream. Shit. Open the door. Hey, what do we got? Shiny. Woohoo! Gold ring. Now they send Carnival of Your Death. City? Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica. Not stuck up this. So vulgar. I can't even look at you sometimes. Jezebel. Oh, Cherie. You really do paint a flattering portrait of me with your turn of the century barb. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just. Uh, I seem to be having some sort of an argument. Sight of that wicked painted house concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no sin. <laughs> Let she who is without sin cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Did I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How you treat me like this? Let's see if we can get him. Oh, sister, man. Run away the from hell? the hell? I'll take care of everything. Oh, maybe we're always. meant to actually listen to this. Oh yeah, okay. See, door opens whenever they're... Okay, where's the other girl? Hmm. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Uh, I'm pretty sure it dominates. Not Tongue's work exile there, so. is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so unclean. Wow. Oh, I suppose we know where you're going to stand on this issue. He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Okay, so, uh... You just going to tell him that everything's cool, then? Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Uh, of Do you course. realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? Don't really care, but, uh... Tongue and his co-conspirator's actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return... You'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. And there's the rub. Of course. What do I have to do, oh master, my master? Mm. Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. 
While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Awesome. And if I do this... Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. On the whole. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Okay. Well, in that case, I suppose there's only one thing to do. Uh, I hate doing this stuff. All right. So Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the Ocean House this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. Great. So I gotta go through the sewer as well? This just keeps getting better and better. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Fine, fine, fine. Tongue. What a disgusting name. Mm, girls rock. Mm. Well, there's this random laptop just sitting here. I wonder if she would mind if I uh, just peruse through it. Obviously not, right? They wouldn't leave it open. Great. Well, at least we know the tongue is talking. Oh, that is right. He did say that. Mikey. Hmm. Well, at least we know how this family is going to wind up working, I suppose. Alright, well, I suppose we should actually look through the contacts then, huh? I'm guessing that one of them is going to be um, the uh, tongue guy. But who else has Jeanette been messing around with? Call me. Yep. Mikey, Birdie, Arthur, Jeff. <laughs> Mikey at yahooligan.vtm. I wonder if any of these phone numbers are like going to be useful. Let's do Birdie. Arthur? He doesn't even have an email address. What about Mr. Jeff? Jeff also does not have one. I haven't actually seen a place where you can make a phone call, so I'm assuming that these phone numbers are not really all that useful. Shreknet.vtm. Or would that be Shriek? Would that be Shrek? Shrike? All right, well, I suppose that's it for this one. Guns don't kill people, I do. Huh. All right. Ooh, more computers. Don't seem to be able to get access to this one, though. All right, so down we go. Well, actually, I think that's probably going to be a good place in order to end this particular one, so... Uh, Remember, if you like these episodes, please click the like button and uh, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you really think about this, si this series. And uh, well, that's about it. If you want to be notified, click the notify bell and that way you can know whenever these things go live. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. And I suppose we will catch you guys in the next video.